This is a selection of natural sounds recorded around the Northamptonshire town of Oundle during 2008. Throughout the year I collected a sound a day and kept them as a form of diary. From hundreds of entries I've chosen just some of the sounds that seem to me to be the most interesting and the most musical. From the start of the year there was a slow but gradual increase in birdsong, from a woodpecker drumming by the River Nen on New Year's Day, widgeon whistling across a flooded water meadow, the lovely melancholy song of a robin at dusk, to the belling of a great tit near Cotterstock Lock. One of the first real signs of spring came when frogspawn appeared in my garden pond on the 25th of February and the frogs' mating chorus began. It took a few days to get a good recording of their low purring sound. Every time I got close, the frogs disappeared beneath the surface with a plop. Eventually I learned to creep up very slowly on my hands and knees so I wouldn't disturb them. At the end of March I went for an evening walk in the woods above Southwark, part of the ancient Rockingham Forest. When I got back to the village it was dark, and tawny owls were calling from the grounds of Southwark Hall. The night was calm and chilly, but there had been a lot of rain in the days before, so you can hear the village brook in the background. Listen out for some unusual wobbly calls towards the end. It always surprises me that a bird as tiny as the wren can have such a loud voice. I heard these wrens in early April, flitting among the riverside willows near Snipe Meadow. In early April I was very taken by this beautiful blackbird, singing from a tree at the bottom of my garden. Like most town blackbirds, he was well used to people, and I could get quite close to him. Woodland blackbirds are much more shy. By the third week of April, the spring migrant birds had arrived from Africa. This willow warbler, with its wild, descending call, was in a patch of scrub in Southwark Forest. By now you can hear a much fuller spring chorus. In the background there's a blackcap, robin, thrush and blackbird. On the evening of April the 23rd, St George's Day, I went back to the same spot at Southwark. The willow warbler is still there in the background, 
but a nightingale has claimed his territory, and his loud and varied song brings a patch of purple to the sonic landscape. Listen out for the lovely repeated notes towards the end, just before the cuckoo calls. At the end of April I heard these skylarks in the fields towards Biggin Hall. When they're up really high they're too quiet to make a good recording. These have only just taken off from the ground and you can hear how loud and urgent their song really is. The footpath from Oundle to Cotterstock crosses a stream running by a hedgerow. It's a haven for birds, and in May I heard this cuckoo close by, perched high in the branches of an oak tree. His metronomic call, coupled with the sound of the stream, is almost hypnotic. On a lovely blue sky May morning, I was walking in Bassett Ford Meadow and recorded the pure, bright, bubbling song of blackcaps. In the background there's a river weir and the distant sound of the boatyard tannoy. I heard these rooks near Southwark Church on a still evening, such an evocative part of the soundscape of the English countryside. In Cotterstock, on a warm day in late May, the branches of a laburnum tree were full of yellow blossom and full of bees. Their busy drone is a counterpoint to the blackbird singing above. <laughs> 